Where you at, my friend? Where you at right now? Studio. Right, I'm in the, um, the studio playing a game and shit. Hell yeah. <laughs> what you want, PS5 or Xbox? What is this shit? The Xbox. Uh, Xbox okay, what you the playing? Xbox Series X. Your dick. What game you playing? What is this? I ain't even playing, bro. I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> Call it, they playing a the Call of Duty. Okay. That's the game to be playing right yeah, now. So, yeah, we on that. All right, well, yeah, we appreciate you joining the show. We got the rotation. We got a lot of fans in the chat right now going crazy for you always. Big support. Um, you got a lot of interesting shit going on, my guy. Yes, sir. Talk to us. What, what's what's going on with you? Um, I got my album out. I'm bothers out now. So make sure everybody go get that. Shout out to all my fans, too, for the love. I appreciate it. Everybody supporting and rocking with me. Hell, yeah. Yeah, I just got that going, bro. Shooting more music videos and shit, you know. Are we going to expect a Lyrical Lemonade video for this project? Or what, what's the vibe looking like on the visuals? Yeah, it should be. I mean, why not? It should be. I ain't going to say too much on it. But, you know, that's <laughs> family. So, like, that's family, too. And you see I shot my new video with, um, with, was with uh, Jandora Media. So, that was my friend Nick and shit. I shot a lot. That's like family, too. So, yeah, I'm trying to get back more to my roots and work with some of those guys for this project. Hell, yeah. What, what yeah. Was the, what's your feelings on the overall response to the tape? Are you happy everything's going? Like, is this what you want? Is there any hiccups? Was there any issues in, in the completion? Do you... Like, yeah, I mean, shit's going, it's going good. I'm still, like, just feeling out the vibe, bro, just seeing how it's going for real. Still day by day because it's still early on. So I'm just, you know, seeing how people like and shit, see how people reacting to it and stuff, going off the vibes. Probably drop a deluxe or something eventually. That's what I was going to ask. Was there anything that you didn't drop? Yeah, I know you was going to ask. I know you was going to ask, so that's why I said it. <laughs> yeah. Cause that's how it's going, right? You're like, damn, I should have done that, or I, I needed to clear this, or blah, blah, blah. So, right, right, yep. Mm -hmm. Some people are asking, do you have a Twitch channel? Nah, bro, I actually never even been on that shit. Like, this is the first time in my life. Man, that's crazy. Twitch is nuts, bro. I mean, like, you saw when you performed last time how crazy that shit was. Yeah, that shit was dope, bro. That shit was fire, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta get hip. Yeah, and I mean, I don't know if the chat knows, but we got a little surprise. I think I think you might be joining us again coming up soon. Yes, sir. So that's gonna be vibes, no that's vibes. gonna be exciting. Yeah, we, we're excited to have you down here with us and big vibes. So, yeah, I'm yeah, excited man. to turn up, bro. It always feels like family every wrong line. Every every event y'all have, you know what I mean? It's always like fire, bro. It's the best shit. So yeah, I'm definitely one... thankful to be a part of it, bro, for sure. Nah, we're thankful to have you being being on the roster, always being supportive of us. I remember one of my, my memories of you. Um, I think we were in the Bay or LA and you did like a Mac Miller tribute that was crazy, bro. Yeah, I think we wasn't where was he at the Bay? I think we was in the Bay. Yeah, the Bay. That shit was crazy. That shit was dope. It was dope. I love that one. That was one of my favorite tributes. Yeah, and you the energy was that. insane. The energy was insane, bro. Yeah, and insane. you and you and you encompassed that vibe, and you really crushed that uh, tribute set. That that to me was super dope that you did that shit. What was yes. what was like your inspiration? I mean, like, I'm sure a lot of people asked you, but like, you know, a lot of people in the chat, I'm sure they don't know. Like, what what who was Mac Miller to you? Shit, he was just like he's from PA and stuff too, bro. So I guess it kind of hit me like sooner because I'm from PA. So I caught on to Mac at like an early age. You know what I'm saying? And shit, it was just inspired. He was inspiring me to like, yo, like it's all right to be a kid and fuck up and shit and just live your life and have fun with your friends and shit and just do what you love. And that's what I love Max music for. I was just a fan, bro. It was just like, you know what I mean? I was just a fan. So when we lost them, it's like shit, like. You know what I mean? It hurts. Just like yeah. when you're a fan of somebody and you lose somebody that you really like or you look up to or you take inspiration from, it just, like, it sucks, bro. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but, like, it's Devin Legends live forever, so he's still Facts. with us, bro. So it Facts, is what it is. Yeah. Well, we're going to ask some questions in the chat in a minute, but before we do that, we got some Q&As on our, on our little cheat sheet. Um <laughs> We have a question that says, in the video of uh, for Dead Broke, which dropped on Friday, it shows a video of Skies of the Child with a CD that says, Fine Print Presence presents yeah. Little Skies, the Freestyles. Yeah. So what, what was that point of that fucking question? Uh, they wanted to know 
Yeah. Oh, how? <laughs> but I, ain't, I'm I'm like, fucking, I can barely fucking read over here, bro. So don't, don't call me <laughs> no, the fucking No, it's all good. Chat. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> right, so what, what did they say? What's the point? Pretty much how old was that video? <laughs> yeah, how old oh, were like, you in that video? Oh, I think I was like 11 or 12. I was 11 or 12. I think I was 11, yeah, because I was 11 when I dropped my first mixtape. Damn. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, it's pretty lit. It's it's cool to see those videos, man. I don't think I got any videos of when I was a kid. Yeah, shout out to my mom, man, and my step pops, yo. They like they was they was filming all that shit. They actually got hella more shit. I'm gonna probably use later for something else or something. But that one just stood out to me. I'm like, damn, I'm about to drop my album, and this is dope. And just the vibe of it, I was like, this is crazy. Do you still have any of those tracks from that uh that mixtape from back in the day? Yeah, I think my I think I got the CD or, or something somewhere. If I don't, my dad has it. But I think there's a couple of them somewhere. I just gotta find it. Man, you should do something special for fans with that. That'd be kind of cool to do. You know, right. do I, bro. It wasn't even like see people don't understand, bro. I literally like taught myself how to rap. Like I wasn't like born with that shit, bro. Like I, I loved it, but I had to learn it. You get what I'm saying? So like yeah. my first mixtapes, they really wasn't. It was cool, but it wasn't like you know what I mean. I'll drop it, but it's like, I really wasn't making that much sense in the shit. I was just going on. But I think people, yeah, people still find it dope because, like, shit, I was an 11-year-old kid. You know what I'm saying? And I was dead-ass serious. Yeah. Yeah, facts. Bro, I mean, bro, you got to start somewhere and you got to keep going. Yeah. Up there, like, that's facts, how you find bro. yourself, you know? Facts. Taking them risks and doing kind of, even if you feel like a dumbass, you know what I mean? It's still cool, right. though. Yeah, I was selling those CDs, bro. I was selling them shits and... That How was much probably was like a CD? A dollar. Damn, I feel like back then the motherfucking CD itself cost a dollar. You remember we used to get them at like fucking Best Buy and shit? And yeah, but know. see what I did, bro, is I bought them. My dad would like teach me shit about like marketing and shit when I was just young and shit like that. So like what I did was I would buy them shits in bulk. I buy the CDs in bulk and then I sell them for a dollar. So I make my money back like... I don't know how to exactly explain it, but what I would do, I was buying them bulk right for their cheaper, and then I would sell them. I would so the CDs would be like a couple cents a piece, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. then I would sell them. Like I forget how I did, but I know I got my first like 50 CDs, and I sold them for a dollar a pop, and I made like probably like twenty dollars in profit. It wasn't much, <laughs> but yeah, it was just I just the goal it was to make a little bit of money so I can buy more CDs, and I, the goal was to sell all of these CDs and get them out. So I did both. So. It yeah, worked. That's dope. Did you write on the CDs or did you do that stamp press? You know, you know nah, I wrote doing. on them. Like the CDs had like a little design on them. I bought the ones with the little design on I them. I know which design you're talking and I, about. And then yeah. I wrote on a, on it with Sharpie, like Lil Skies, The Freestyles, Volume 1, and then I would sign it with my signature. That's, that's right. fine. All right, I'm going to Venmo you a dollar. I need that, <laughs> gotta, I need that, uh, I need that tape, big dog. We got to see if we yeah, can find one you. of them. There got to be one out there. <laughs> I'm expecting it when you come down. Fuck that. I got you, bro. <laughs> I remember. I remember. I got you. I remember, I got you. Um, yo, ask me a question, though, man. You got something else? Yo, there? tats. Your tats is crazy. You're going crazy. Uh, your arm's crazy. Your face crazy. Tell me a little right. bit about how tats, just what, what inspires you about tattoos? You grew up around it or i always wanted to get tattoos bro like that's what it was i always i always wanted to get tattoos and i looked up to people that i looked up to people that like had a lot of tattoos you know what i mean like i looked up to lil wayne and wiz khalifa and like in those areas of like you know as far as like face tats and shit like that like lil wayne really inspired me it's just i it's a way for me bro to like it's like music it's like expressing myself Word. You get what I'm saying? It's like it's oh, like yeah. another form of art for me. Like, so I like put this shit on my body. It's showing my pain, my struggle, or whatever I've been through, and it's just my way of like showing it to the world. You know what I'm saying? Dope. I remember when I was getting heavily tattooed. That that song was out. That was like ink. Your shit says fire though, bro. You got some sick pieces. Bro. Yeah, I appreciate that. I remember the popping song though. Wiz came out with that ink my whole body. I don't give yeah. motherfucking shit. Yeah, I'll be in that fucking. That's shit. what made me too. Like, feel like all right, it's okay to go crazy too because now it's like someone come out. All right, Wiz is coming out and saying this shit. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's making it cool now. Like, it's not cool, but it's like all right, bro. Like, I know I'm not crazy for thinking like this. Now I'm about to turn up for real. Not only no, that, yeah, that I shit is just that. accepted <laughs> everywhere now. Like you can go into the doctor's office and your whole. Doctor I think everybody, bro. That's how the world. That's what the world's gonna come to, bro. Right. It's just like we were the ones that got 
we were the ones that caught on sooner than everybody else. Man, I will say I was at I was at this restaurant spot, man. People still be looking at me crazy, bro. I'd be the only motherfucker in there with like face tats and shit. They'd bro, I get that all the time everywhere I go, bro. Cause you know I'd not be, everybody I knows. Don't even, I don't know how you feel, bro, but I don't even be like remembering I have tattoos. And then people will remind me though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, I'll have somewhere like, oh shit. Dog, I'll have dreams that I like don't have any. I wake up in the morning, I look in the mirror, I'm like, oh my god, that's a lot of shit going on. You, know I mean? <laughs> like, you don't dream of yourself with the tattoos. I have, I, if I have any dream, I think I have my be having more, bro. Like I'm fully covered or some shit. I don't know, but I always tell people, I'm like, listen, I ain't got to look at this shit. You got to look at me, so I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I what, love it. Bro. What you thinking about? You, you maybe getting into tattooing yourself? Like, you, you want to learn how to do it? Or have you done Hell it yeah. yourself? I would. I would. I would learn. I do want to learn how to tat and shit. I think I am going to fuck around with it, bro, honestly. Well, you know, I got... I just can't draw. I wish I could draw nice, but I'm, I kind of suck. Nah, check it out. When you come down, that's what we're going to do. Because you know I own a sick shop down here. We're going to do a stencil. And we're going to put it on somebody or yourself or whatever. And we'll t- and I'll teach you how to do that shit with one of my guys. For sure. Hell yeah, bro. No, I'm down for that on some real shit. I'll just make one of the artists in there that's apprenticing, and you'll just tattoo the apprentice. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can tattoo you know I mean? that So we'll definitely do that. That shit's fun as fuck, bro. Like, you'll, you'll catch works. on it real quick. And you that don't works. need to know how to draw either, because you're just going to follow the line work. Right. Yeah, I'll get it. I feel like I, I got a steady hand, because I know I got so much ink done, I feel like I'll know how to like you know what i'm saying do it and shit yeah because i didn't had some it. heavy shit bro i don't have some heavy handers and shit like. bro yeah you've had all that like yeah i i like once you get that street trashy shit that like we've all gotten in the garages and weird yep. places you know like that's majority of my tats bro like majority of my tats was in a fucking like house i just i started going to kind of i guess to the shop like as I got some more money and shit, but <laughs> other than that, I was doing like you know the cheap to whatever I can get shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I feel that shit, bro. Um, what else we got for you? Um, how did your process change like creatively and like rollouts? Did anything influence you in this like weird time of like COVID? Obviously, like. It's different shit going on. Was there like different creative processes that you were utilizing? Was it different vibes? Like, how do you feel? Like, right? Yeah, I feel like it's always different, bro. Like, if you're an artist that be putting your life into the music, you speak about what's going on and shit. It's like you always are paying attention to like everything around you and like what's going on. So yeah, bro. Like, I feel like 2020 was crazy for everybody. I don't care how much money you have, how much whatever. Like, shit was just a wild ass year, bro. But it's like, shit, right? we went through a lot of trials and tribulations that year. And just in life, period, bro. I feel like that's how life is. So um, I, I, I would say, like, my as far as my process and shit changing, it really don't. It's just me, like, growing with life, bro. You, you feel me? Like, me just growing with this shit. And, like, I'm still figuring shit out, too. You know, I want my fans, people know that shit, too. Like, I'm young, bro. I ain't got all this shit figured out. I'm just, like, still trying to have fun with this shit and still, like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Just keep the love in this shit because the way this shit's going and the world's going nowadays, bro, it's just so much ugly and just dumb shit, I feel like, going on. And it's hard to, like, keep a level head, you know what I mean, with everything that's going on because there's so much, like, bullshit being put out there. But Yeah, yeah speaking of know. bullshit, I mean, a lot of artists are fucking bullshit, too. But let's talk about the guys that aren't bullshit. We got Wiz and... We had a, a little dirt uh, feature on your on your recent project, and yeah. you, you mentioned how like features for you come super organically. Like, I, I and I agree with you. I think everything is organic, friendships, life, et cetera, et cetera. But what what are those relationships for you like versus you know like other like what does it take to to really see yourself collabing with certain artists? Um, I don't know, bro. I just like to let it be. I like to let it be natural, I guess. Like, that's my biggest thing is, like, I like to let it, like, you know what I mean? If I reach out to you or whatever, you reach out to me and then we're fucking with each other. We want to make a song. Like, I think it should be like that instead of sometimes, you know, it's nothing wrong with paying for features and doing all shit like that. But see, me at the same time, I want you to be interested in 
what we're doing, the song and shit. Like, I want you to want to show up to the video if we shoot it. I want you to share the song if you like. You feel me? Like, I want it to be, like, organic, bro. Just, like, real. And I feel like in the end, it'll work better for us. You know what I mean? Because we're mm. both, we'll both be winning in the end. Like, I'm not trying to. That's my biggest thing is, bro. Like, I, I'm not, I won't even say I'm not too pressed. I, well, I guess I ain't. Like, I ain't too pressed to work with nobody. But if I do, I'm I'm not. My pride isn't too high to where I won't reach out to you and show love, bro. Like, that's one thing. Thanks. That's one thing I do. Like, you know what I mean? I have no problem with reaching out to people and, and, and trying to make a song or just building a relationship or something like that, bro. You got anybody that you're talking to now that we might expect the future from in the future? Like, is there something yeah. like... Yeah, I mean, me and Snot, we got some big shit coming. Shout oh, out to bro. Yeah, me and him got some cool. fire shit. Um... Damn. Yeah, me and Dirk will probably have more music for sure. Shit, I don't know, bro. I got some I got some other ones. I just don't I don't know what's fully going on with them yet, so I'm gonna keep it quiet, but yeah. shit, I'm definitely looking to do a i I'm definitely um looking to do like a girl feature soon, like a song with a girl type shit, because I ain't really had one yet and I know the people waiting for that and I feel like I can do good in that area, like making a fire ass track. With Who somebody. do you think would be like, a, like a compliment, complimenting your style from a from a girl's perspective that you think you'd catch a vibe with that would really understand like the value, you know, to to the feature and like really be into it. I would say like, damn. Hold on. Who do I? Who do I think is dope? I think I I think I think Kaylani. I think Kaylani would be dope. I think that's yeah. a real dope. We one. just had Young Blue on here, and he was saying he's like, "Man, I want to work with the Weekend and Kalani, right?" He just said that. Yeah, the Weekend's fire too, bro. Like the Weekend, bro. Shout out to bro too, cause he fucks with me. I ain't talked to him in a minute, but I'm definitely, I'm like, yeah, I'm definitely, I definitely want to do a song with him, yo. Yo, his whole shit bro. lately be on fire, bro. So. Yeah, now nah, he's on another type of time, bro. That man's a beast. Super beast. I like mm-hmm. everything he's doing too. Mm-hmm. Um. We were talking about speaking of Pennsylvania. Um, are there any? Is there anybody you're fucking with from PA? You know that's coming up or anything like that that you've been seeing. PA. Um, who's that fucking with? PA? PA. PA. I don't even know, bro. To be honest, I ain't even been keeping on everybody that I like. You know who I liked a lot. Rest in peace to him. I like Jimmy Wapo. I don't mm-hmm. know if you ever heard of him, but he was mm-hmm. up and coming, and then he passed away or whatever. But, like, damn, I felt like he was going to be the next biggest thing for PA. Like, um, but I don't know, bro. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I ain't been paying attention, like, too much to, like, you know what I mean? All that shit. Just all that. A nigga been off the internet. I be on the internet, but I be off at the same time. You yeah. from Pittsburgh, too? What would you say? Was he from Pittsburgh? No, you. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah. You said I'm from Pittsburgh? Yeah, you from Pittsburgh? Oh, no, nah, bro. I'm from Waynesboro, Pennsylvania. Well, I was yeah, born in yeah. Chambersburg, Pennsylvania, but I, I basically grew up in Waynesboro my whole life, so that's where okay. I say I'm from. Dope. What you smoking yeah. on right now? What you got? Um, I'm smoking that gas. I'm smoking some biscotti, some nerds, some white runts, oh, some shark lotto. <laughs> <laughs> All in one, hey, Jokes huh? up. <laughs> you know the vibes, yeah. <laughs> Real shit. You know need to come down yeah. to the bodega, man. I need you to do an episode with me on Manny's bodega. We gonna get right. Man. We almost did it last it, time. Bro, let me know. We almost bro. did oh, it last yeah. time. But, oh yeah, the last show. But everybody was jolting out, and yeah. then I I got your pack. But I was like, man, we just do this yeah, shit whenever, next man. One. But yo, we got a bunch of people in the chat. I'm gonna ask random questions, so they might be retarded. But a lot of your fans are gonna ask some shit. So hey, guys, in the chat right now, why don't you guys ask some questions? Our, our guys gonna highlight them, and we're gonna ask guys some questions from you guys. So Yoshi. let's get those questions in real quick before we let our mans go. We got somebody in there asking, "What shoes you got in rotation right now?" What they say? What what I got? In what rotation? sneakers you got in rotation? What sneakers? Yeah. I got on the um the the Air Force these don'ts. You know I keep these. It's my oh, favorite yeah. shit. Oh, yeah, man, I'm on the same shit. I'm on that mids though. That's what I'm on. I got that. What I got on the uh La Ropa. Right. La Ropa. I've been on the Dior's. I got a couple I've been rocking a lot of Dior's lately, little Dior shoes. But I'm really I'm an Air Force person, bro. A whole bunch of Air Force activity. Yes, sir. G Fazos. I like that yeah. trucker, La Ropa. Why are people yeah. they're saying they're talking about the skies know about the little skies discord 
Is he what trying is to join? I don't know what the fuck. What the fuck is Discord? What like is that? No, I've heard that one time. I don't even know what the fuck that is. Oh, it's a fan community. Oh, it's a it's chat a fan room. community. What's that shit where you get in the room and you talk to everybody? Oh, that's Clubhouse. That shit fucking whack, See, that's bro. how you know I don't be know what's going on. <laughs> nah, I did it one I time. I got... Shit. I did not be on the internet. See? Nah. Bro, what the fuck? Nah. So what, they just talk in a room on that app? On the clubhouse when they talk to me, but what do they do on Discord? What do they do on Discord? Help. <laughs> oh, they could do voice calls, but it's mainly like a community or the typing and shit like that. That's kind of, who made it? I don't even know. I don't know who made it. Some fan. A fan made your shit. I mean, I don't know. Well, shout out to y'all, whoever fan that made that shit. That's hard. It sounds kind of cool. Shit. I mean, they're going off in the chat about Discord, Discord, Discord. So who might want to look in? I've never even been on that shit. My manager right here, I'm about to ask, what is that? Most guys Discord. He was like, "What the fuck is that?" He looked at me. You know what it is? What is yeah, it? It's like a, it's like a chat room. Chat room for like your fans. At yeah. oh, that's cool. That's I mean, I you like. heard the man. He might go on. They're gonna feel it out. You know what I mean? You maybe they got me on TikTok and you. shit. I don't even do that, but I'm on TikTok now too. It's cool, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, what's your TikTok? Is it your is it your handle? Did you get your handle? On I TikTok? think it's Lil Sky sixteen twenty three. All right, you heard the man, Lil Sky sixteen twenty three. You want to join that man on on his TikTok and check it and follow his TikTok? Hey, there's some stuff in here about kids. How's your kid? You want more uh, kids? What's going on with the kids? The daddy department. I'm good. I love my son. Shit, he's great. He's doing good, man. Shit. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll probably have another kid later on. Not right now, though. Yeah, I feel that. <laughs> <laughs> I just had one. It's a rough time right now to have kids. Uh, did you ever consider doing something else other than music? Yeah. What did I? Well, did I? Like, we were nah, like, man, bro, fuck I this shit. I was doing my whole life, now I'm thinking about it. Like, I had dreams of being, like, on Man vs. Wild, like, doing some shit like that. That's... I would have probably try to do something like that. I used to try to be building like campfires and shit in the backyard and forts and shit, trying to survive in the wild. <laughs> 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 I was on some Survivor man shit. Like that's probably what I would have tried to. Or do some with animals. I like animals. I sky's know. exotic. You heard him. Yeah, sky's exotic. Yeah. <laughs> don't play with them. <laughs> Uh, what else we got? Uh, we're asking if you have plan. I mean, obviously the touring shut down. There's people asking if you're planning on going to Europe when everything opens back up. Yeah, I gotta go everywhere, bro. The ship is shut down so long. I feel like every artist, you gotta go ahead and get it in. Facts. Well, they want you to go to Ireland particularly. There's a, there's a bunch Ireland. of people here that want you to go to Ireland. So. Hey. <laughs> You I know. was just watching Leprechaun last night. <laughs> <laughs> that shit, that shit, crazy. Oh, honestly, I'm, bro. Bro, I'm a real fan of that movie. Did you seen that before? Yeah, Leprechaun. Fire. Hell yeah. yeah! They're dope, bro. They're dope. Wait, that which part you on? Fuck, part one, bro. bro. I watched the part one, part two, and I watched uh, In the Hood and Back to the Hood. Like, yes, and, then, and I'm sure you looked up the, the Google <laughs> meme of the guy. Hey, you see that Leprechaun in the tree, though? <laughs> bro, that's just so <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. You it's see the new King Kong versus Godzilla shit? That shit gonna be so hard. Yeah, bro. it looks yeah, crazy. I went back. To I gotta see that. Bro. I don't like even know how they do that shit. I'm thinking about it when I'm watching those videos. I'm like, yo, how the fuck is this all that's happening right now? Well, like, it's cartoons, but it's painted, and then it's like, bro, CGI, I don't know. that shit so complicated, it's... man. Yeah, it is. It is. Facts. They be showing Godzilla that's the like world is complicated in the city. right now, bro. Um, what else we got? Um. Snippets on the deluxe. They're talking. What did you say? Asking about the deluxe. They want me to get snippets. Everybody's not talking about your deluxe now. So that's a. I'm sure maybe the deluxe 2021 for the deluxe. Yeah. It's got to be this year. Yeah, so you heard the man. He'll, he'll give you guys some more shit what you want. We got to let this shit breathe, though. You got to digest <laughs> what they gonna got. Now they're going to see. That's why you shouldn't even have brought it up. Cause they, yeah, now they're they going. Find the pressure. <laughs> nah, anticipation, you know, 2021, 2022, we're going to feel the vibes out, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, for bro, for sure. Uh, what else we got? Mm, I mean, that's pretty, I, I would say we can close it up. Is there anything you want to say to your fans? Anything you want to tell the people in the chat? 
yeah, I just want to say to my fans, thank y'all for all the support. You know what I mean? It means the world. Keep rocking with me. Keep turning up. Go get the new album. I'm bothered. It's out now. Dead Broke Video's out now. Go get it. I love you guys. I appreciate everything. And none of y'all go unnoticed, for sure. And shout out to Rolling Loud, too, my family. Love. Yeah, appreciate appreciate you, you. We got some too. merch, too, with the album, right? So go get that fucking merch, right? You got go merch get the album out. merch. Yeah, that shit's fire. Go get that jacket, too. Make sure I get that jacket. It's yeah. cold right now. I know. Oh, I, I need it, too. I'm about to get the thing. It's in my shit. You heard the man. He got his merch job. He's the, especially the jacket. Make sure you cop his jacket, man. We're going to see Sky soon. February 10th and 11th, we got Rolling Loud Live. Skies will be on there as one of our headliners for that show. We're super excited to have you part of our Valentine's Day stream, man. Bless up, man. We appreciate you always, man. Support. Love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ski. I appreciate y'all too, man. Y'all boys stay safe. You always, too, fam. Thank you. See Bless. You. Bless. Peace. What we doing? What we doing? That was a long motherfucking interview, but, you know, we always.